Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com Bringing another fly tying video, another nymph pattern, and another worm pattern. I've been on a little kick here lately, so we're going to stick with it. Um, this is a really cool one that I saw Sun tie on Instagram. Uh, he did a little short video of it, a uh, sped up one, which was really cool. But I wanted to share it with you guys in case you don't follow him. And uh, he's a really great tire, really great guy, so give him a look. And um, anyhow, this is a cool pattern. I will suggest I tie it with squirmy worms. And I don't fish squirmy worms a lot because they don't last real long. I've always had that issue. So I will fish this. I'm not going to lie to you. This is a great looking fish. It's going to be a stocky killer, I'm sure. And, uh, you know, this makes a really great looking um, like a millworm pattern, which would be a great for imitation for millworm. But it's used with squirmy worm material, and squirmy worm material just isn't real durable for me. I have had haven't had a lot of luck with that. So what I would suggest with this, don't go overboard and fill your box up with them, because squirmy worm tends to deteriorate. So I say tie these as needed, and uh, you're going to catch fish on them, but don't spend a lot of time tying a whole bunch of them, filling up a box just for them to deteriorate in your box. You know, tie six of them, go out fish, when they start to break up, tie them over again. So, anyhow, here it is in the vise and the material list to tie it. And I uh, hope you enjoy. All right, here you see this simple little worm in the vise, and uh, let's get into tying it now. For a hook, I am using a 718, size 14. And we're just going to throw that in the vise there, and then I'm going to use some lead. This is .015 lead wire, and we're going to cover up our hook with the lead here. So. Be about, I don't know, 15, 16 wraps there, somewhere in the middle there. And uh, snap our ends off, and then we're going to put it right in the middle like that. Now, for the thread, I'm going to use some, this is yellow thread, and any lighter color, white would work great for this. I just want to lighten up my squirmy worm here a little bit. Um, so we're just going to cover up this lead and go back around the bend just a little bit. Now I'm going to put my ribbing on this fly. For ribbing I'm using a brassy sized silver wire, ultra wire. Wrap that back to the bend and then I'm going to put the back on this fly. The back is uh, Magic Shrimp Foil. This color is Dark Olive. This is some um, stuff we got from Jan Simon. And, uh, you know, got some stuff and not sure how long we're going to have it. So if you like this stuff, buy it up because we're not sure if we can get it again. So, uh, really cool stuff. I like this Magic Foil. It's real stretchy, it's real durable. And it comes in a lot of great colors. So, just gonna cover that up, make this body nice and yellow again. And the last thing I'm gonna put on is some squirmy worm. And the squirmy worm is tan, okay? I'm gonna use like a natural, my goal is to make a natural colored grub here. So, we're just gonna put the squirmy worm on, gonna tie it down up here near the front, and I'm gonna pull on it. I got a little bit of dubbing there sticking out. Get that? I'm going to pull on it so it makes nice and flat going down the back here and doesn't add body to my fly. And then we're going to, again, get that yellow color showing through. And smooth it out up here at the head a little bit. Now, we've got a little bit much there. Let's see if we can trim this off. 
okay and then we'll smooth it all out okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this squirmy worm on here and as I wrap it it's going to segment itself and if it rolls forward a little bit, you'll see up here in a second, just give it a push back and it'll slide right back into place. As we get up here towards this end, there it's starting to roll. So I'll just take and push it back with my fingers and it'll go right back where it needs to be. Oops. And once I get it up here to the eye, I'm going to tie it off. Now you can see that's a pretty natural colored dub or bug I mean so we're going to tie that off there trim it and I'm going to put my shell back over the back here this magic magic skin or sorry magic shrimp foil and there we go now I'm going to pull this pretty tight I want it to lay right over the back and then I'm going to tie it down I get a couple of nice wraps and then I'm going to tie back over the foil so it doesn't want to come undone and throw a half hitch to hold it into place okay now I'm going to rib this and when I rib it I'm going to keep it try to maintain the ribs of the uh, the silly worm or sorry squirmy worm there I mean, you're not going to, but try to keep it close, and it'll look really cool. And your, uh, sorry, your your rib will actually sink into the squirmy worm in the gap there, but it'll show up really nice on the back, as you can see. So we're just going to rib that the whole way up, tie it off, and a helicopter to pop it off. Then we're going to whip finish. And what I'm going to do on this fly is I'm going to do like two whip finishes on here instead of hitting it with some solar res. Uh, I don't really want to get that solar res real close to that um, squirmy worm. The other, th well, I'll talk about it here in a second. There you go. You can see how nice and natural and buggy that looks right there. So give this fly a try. You're going to like it a lot. Okay, you saw there that wasn't hard to tie. Very easy actually. And uh, it's going to be a fish catcher. You're going to like to have it in your box. But like I said earlier, don't go overboard and tie a whole bunch of these because Squirmy worm is just not a really long lasting material and uh, you know especially when you wrap it like that but you'll, you'll catch fish on them that's the thing you're gonna catch a lot of fish on it but you're gonna have to tie them so anyhow guys thanks for watching all my videos I really hope you enjoyed this one and my other ones uh, have them listed on our website if you go up in the top right there there's a video button you can click on It'll have a drop down menu. You can go to my YouTube channel or you can go to my different categories. So if you just want to tie nymphs or if you're into wet flies or something, you want to see my wet fly channel, you can go straight to wet flies. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Like always, you know, I love bringing these videos to you and can't wait to bring you next week. So until next week, please head on over to our shop at wholesingersflyshop.com and uh, I'll see you next week.